Welcome to Killing Floor 2. KF2 is the definition of a horde survival. You and up to five other goons are sent to the worst places on Earth to exterminate spiders, robots, not zombies, and anything else that moves. But we're not going to get into that today. Instead, we're going to talk about what makes you special on the battlefield. No, not your strategy and cunning, you silly, silly dum-dum. We're talking about perks. Perks basically determine what types of weapons you're going to use, what types of proficiencies you have with them, and a handful of utility stuff sprinkled on top. With 10 different perk trees to choose from, it would be nice if there was a video one could watch to learn the basics of each class in a concise and mildly comedic way. Wait a minute. Berserker! Are you stupid like me? Trick question! I am a genius! Only an intellectual such as myself can master the art of running forward and hitting right-click. Berserker is the class for anyone who looks at the 10-foot-tall Hulk villain with a rocket launcher minigun for an arm and says to themselves, I wanna punch it. Your kid is simple. You are strong, you are tough, nothing can stop you, and you have night vision for some reason? Don't know why that's a thing, especially because most people don't even know you have a flashlight in this game. What is 9-volt charged in the bottom right? We're You'd be stunned time. to know this, but Make you have choices. a flashlight? <laughs> Oh my god, you do. And it has a battery? What the fuck is this mechanic? Now your weapons are quite complicated, so you might want to sit down and take some notes. You hit things. Most of your weapons follow the game's melee format of light attacks, heavy attacks, and blocking. There are a couple of ranged weapons available to you, so it doesn't hurt to pick up one of those after you have your primary melee. How is this a berserker weapon? So usually all your money is going to go towards your friends at this point because I guess they have to buy bullets to play the game or something. I just buy the battle axe to liquefy my problems. Commando. You probably just got off Call of Duty, didn't you? A friend of yours said to get KF2 because it's COD zombies and now you're flocking to your assault rifles like how you flock to your ex when they give you a booty call. I think the good people at Tripwire are well aware of the commando straws because it is by far the most noob-friendly class in the game. You can see health bars, reveal invisible enemies, and increase the Z time duration. That's slow motion. With all the crutches you need, I wouldn't be surprised if you enabled the crosshair already. Taking the time to figure out where the crosshair is when there's no crosshair. Oh, you can turn on the crosshair. You can. You're a bitch. The weapons of the commando are typically assault rifles that you can switch to semi-auto using the middle mouse button. The only time this isn't the case is if the weapon has an underbarrel or shoots healing darts. This class is stupid and dumb and I hate it, and I can't imagine a level 25 lobby without it. Support. What, you think this class might be weak because of its name? Oh ho ho, you are so very wrong. Support is the divine bringer of justice, with a welder in one hand and a shotgun in the other. Their welding speed is greatly increased, and they have the ability to repair damaged doors, which makes them most vital in holding areas and setting up traps with your demo. Come on. Assuming I- you're assuming I Come did on. it right. Yes! That or it makes you the most obnoxious person in the game because while people were buying weapons, you welded every door shut on the map for that sweet XP boost. I forgot about Why welding in this game. Why am I welded into it? Zoe? I didn't do that. <laughs> oh, it was AJ. I'm playing support, okay? It's my job. Damn it, were you going around welding every door? No. You have no proof. On top of having the ability to be a jerk, you also generate ammunition that your allies can harvest from you once they realize they only have enough dosh to buy their weapon and not the bullets for it. You also have an increased weight capacity, which means you can carry more weapons, which means you can kill things with more variety. Your weapons are anything that fires enough pellets to send enemies flying. Pistols, shotguns, fists, what? Are they shotgun fi- are you Yang? Yes. If its effective range isn't inside the barrel, then it isn't a support weapon. Though that doesn't mean you can't snipe a fool with them. Field medic. Ah, yes, the healer. What a quaint existence. Staying in the back line. Unkilling your friends. Man, screw that Zen crap. We playing field medic. Your goal isn't exactly healing. It's more just killing enemies before they kill you. If you have to heal someone to coax them into meat shielding for you, then so be it. You are generally one of the more hardy bastards in the game, with increased movement speed, armor, and resistance to vomit damage. Additionally, if healing is less of a byproduct and more of the thing you are trying to do, you and your simp will gain buffs whenever you juice them up with a not-die liquid. All of your weapons have the ability to heal others, be it a syringe- Yeah, I gotcha. 
glob of blood, heavy melee attack, even your grenades have a side effect of healing things you'd rather live. But no matter what weapon you choose, the field medic will always be a must-have, especially in high-level play. Demolitionist. You probably grew up on Michael Bay films and want to take your enthusiasm for combustion wherever you go. I mean, it only makes sense to play the big AoE explosion person in a game where there are more enemies than bullets. As demo, your entire kit is focused around the smithereening of enemies, be it passive damage, resistance and ammo, or weirder things like self-destructing, free grenades for allies, and arming welded doors. This guy's gonna get fucked. <laughs> oh my god. They're all gonna fucking die, though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The tools of your trade are anything that will give you tinnitus faster than a horde of sirens. You'll be turning enemies to giblets with the power of explosive bullets, detonationable harpoons, sticks of dynamite. Heck, you probably still use the grenade pistol at wave 4. We all know it's the best starter weapon. And don't worry too much if a Zed gets a little close. If the projectile you fire doesn't activate in time, the sheer force of a 40mm cartridge going 276 feet per second will turn their skull to shrapnel for you. Just make sure you don't shoot at a screaming siren if you want to see your weapons actually do something. Oh, and my apologies, I lied to you. There is one weapon that doesn't concuss enemies into their fluid state. The box cutter! Look, alright, you gotta unpack your RPGs somehow. Firebug! Go on, play some Firebug. Tell you why. Your kid is hot enough to make sets fry. And when you use your flaming gasoline drench, damn, they haven't got a chance. You are a special flaming snowflake that wants to see how full of orange your screen can be at any given time. The sound of boiling flesh brings you great joy, and you are not quite sure what this war crime thing is that people are talking about, but you're sure it's nothing to be concerned about. Your kit is about one thing and one thing only, lots and more fire. With damage, reload, ammo, and resistance to all things gasoline-based increased, you are actively incentivized to set anything that isn't disintegrating ablaze. And yes, that includes floors, water, and even yourself. Your weapons do one of two things. They either breathe fire or shoot fire. If you want to live with the knowledge that you are coating living beings with napalm and causing their cells to explode with the power of super cancer, then the thrower-type weapons are your choice. Though if you'd rather keep the enemies at a nice safe distance of not in your face, you'd probably prefer the incendiary ballistic weapons accompanied by the husk cannon. A fireball launcher with some of the most sexy false reloads in the game. This is my favorite gun in the game. Just hit R with it. <sighs> Look at that. I can't see it, but oh, yeah. I imagine it looks really nice. <laughs> it's a shame I suck at it. Uh, no. Gunslinger. Do you want to be a dual wielding, gunslinging, head popping, hat wearing, tobacco chewing, bean eating, horse riding, bank robbing, beer drinking, wench seducing, accent butchering outlaw? Well, I can't help you, but I can tell you about Gunslinger. So turn on that royalty free western music, equip that weekly reward cowboy hat, and let's get shooting. GS shoots. A lot. Thank goodness your recoil is reduced, so you won't be able to blame it for all the shots you've missed. On top of that, your experience with the bullet makes you resistant to enemy bullets. Because that makes sense. You also absorb the sole of your horse into your legs, so now you can run slightly faster than everyone else. Everyone, look at this zoom. Oh! And to top it all off, you reload faster during Zed time, which is rather amusing when you exit it. You have one of the largest selections of guns in the game because you have the magical privilege of buying half your gun early and the other half when you have more money than the average tip jar. We will collectively be wielding 10 guns at once. You can buy guns that don't have the dual wield property, but those for other classes anyway, so who cares? You use anything that can be considered a lever action or a pistol, except for the HRG buckshots for some reason. Sharpshooter. I mean, it only makes sense. Lots of spoopy boys trying to outer your innards. Why wouldn't you pick a class associated with keeping the battos as far away as possible? <laughs> oh shit. Woo! Get off me! Ah! Alright, perk bonuses. Oh. Uh, this will be easy. Recoil reduction and weapon switch are improved, so you can spam to your heart's content in a crisis situation. Ah! 
Ah, I'm gonna find a bunch of me. Oh no, I'm gonna die! Ah and instead of having perk weapon damage increase like most of the other classes, you have increased headshot damage to further incentivize your practice of ballistics-based lobotomies. I've heard tall tale that you can actually play a sharpshooter as you would a sniper, holding still, setting up your shot, controlling your breath, preparing a cup of tea, reading the worm web series, reaching enlightenment, and then killing your target. But I find the lack of movement and plethora of reading unappealing. I just run around and hope the enemies die before I run out of bullets again. Your weapons are as followed. Sniper. If it is proficient at removing heads from their bodies via atomization at long range, it is yours. You also have a few revolvers for emergency sidearms, but who cares? My personal recommendation is the DLC weapon, the Mosin No, it's not because I'm a melee user. Shut up! Though if you lack the dollars and have the dosh, you can pride yourself on purchasing the most expensive weapon in the game, the M99 AMR. Ripped from the hands of Ceres Victoria, this weapon has the capacity to end anyone and anything that stands in your way. If you aren't stupid like me. 360. Oh, he's dead. 360. Bam. Oh, he's dead. 60. Yeah. SWAT. A radical group of husks made a bomb threat against your field medic and you just got permission to use lethal force. So discard those rubber rounds and get spraying. Just like Gunslinger, the sheer amount of bullets you vomit out has made you resistant to the adverse effects of having lead forcibly introduced to your internal organs at high velocities. That coupled with the skills heavy armor training and assault armor makes you one of the tankiest bastards in the game while you still have armor. Uh... My pot's here explosive. <laughs> you also have increased damage with SMGs, increased magazine size, and faster weapon switch, which means you MORE FASTER your way through enemies while you saw them in half with a constant barrage of bullets. Generally, your weapon roster is comprised of guns that have a fire rate that will make the commando envious. Except for the Tommy gun. They get around. You can hit middle mouse button to switch to single fire, but why would you do that? I thought we've established that if you ain't swatting with more bullets than the enemies have blood cells, you ain't swatting properly. Alright, uh, oh boy. so I am out of this cool thing called ammunition. I'm going to run away. Oh god! <laughs> ah! Survivalist. Well, we're almost done. Have any of the classes spoken to you? Have you found your playstyle? Maybe you find yourself restricted by how specialized each class is. Maybe you want to play your Commando Demolitionist Firebug Gunslinger Sharpshooter build with your grenade launching M16 and your revolver that shoots mini napalm missiles. Well, hold my non brand sassafras carbonated beverage because I have a class for you. Survivalist is not bound by your petty concepts of perk weapon damage and specific resistances. We have global damage and resistance increased, meaning that no matter what situation you're in, you will, for lack of a better word, survive. God damn! Why won't he die? Ah! One turn out. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Tack on an increase to body armor and you can go melee with the berserker. Until they start healing and you don't. You also have faster Z time reloads and weapon switch, which means if you're not dealing damage, something is wrong. Even your skills want you to have flexibility, giving you choices between big bullets or small bullets, and stab to heal or stab to unheal. Speaking of choices, Survivalist is the one class that allows you to customize your starting loadout. Now I can start without the burden of bullets while wielding the most powerful grenade in the game and groveling zeds like it's whack-a-mole. Maybe you're still confused, so let's go on to the weapon segment. Most of the classes look like this. Gunslinger looks like this, and Survivalist looks like this. Do you get the picture now? The whole list is yours! Your proficiency is with any weapon designed to turn zeds into fertilizer. Be it bullets, swords, fire, ice, poison, explosives, radiation, magnetism, blood vacuuming. You can kill things in so many different ways it'd make a sadist blush. And if you're tired of using the other class's weapons, Survivalist has a few weapons of their own. Somewhere in here. Like the HRG Locust, Freeze Thrower, and Killer Watt. Though we all know you're just going to pick up your dead friend's weapon and use it instead because you don't want to buy ammo for yourself. Ha! Joke's on you, I'm a survivalist! This is now my secondary! <laughs> and there you have it! A beginner's guide to the classes of a game from 2018. I know. Very trendy. Now, if you'll excuse me, 
My ADHD made writing this script go from a one-day process to a one-week ordeal, so I'm gonna go drop a Benadryl and sleep for 72 hours. In the meantime, here are some miscellaneous funny moments from the gameplay recordings. See, I'm looking at my class icon with that little tiny little triangle underneath it, and I'm like, yeah, I prestiged this. And then I look <laughs> at you at field medic, and it's just like, what the fuck, dude? Mm -hmm. I and you have that on, like, every class. <laughs> Shut up. Do you guys have kill feed on? No. No. The gray uh, slowdown shit? That is not kill feed. How did you misinterpret you know what a kill, kill feed, feed, feed for Zed time? I will. I'm not. Again, I'm Overwatch. having to relearn this entire game. It's not a game thing. It, it's MJ, you feed. play Overwatch. When was the last time you heard me lie? Two days ago. That is a lie. No, it's not. No, because when did the, I lie two days ago? The, the Nicole thing. I didn't lie. I just didn't tell the truth. There's a difference. Oh, why can I not move? Because you're surrounded by spiders. Horrifying concepts. Being surrounded by spiders and it's so bad you physically can't move. Spider no, no, coffin. No, no. My favorite prank. I am out of bullets. Time to bust out the knife again. Uh, HP. Uh, it's crazy. That's a slick. Hold on. I got this, boy. I missed. Oh, I see someone has the big suck weapon. I've got some big suck for you. Wait, no, not how I meant it. You did that on accident? <laughs> <sighs> oh, that is not good. Am I by myself? Yep. Yeah. Last player standing. Guys. Uh -oh. Wow. Oh no! That, that door didn't stand a chance. Oh no! No! <laughs> I hate this map. This map is stupid and bad. This map catacombs? Yes, and we're never playing it ever again. My bad. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what was that guy doing? <laughs> ah! Ah! Rar pisses on you, XD. <laughs> 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 One thirty three zero zero kisses oh, no. on you. <laughs> I was wondering why things were on fire around me. Turns out there's an AJ. I'm fireball. Three sixty. You didn't <laughs> hear you lifting and slamming your mouse down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. He didn't like that. Yeah, oh right, I have a laser gun. Hold on, let me just solve this problem. All right, yeah. fixed it. <laughs> <gasps> Trying to shoot him in the off button. Can you shoot me in the live button, please? Ah! He's beating me. Face me, the melee king. Uh oh. Ooh, uh oh. I'm gonna weld this shut. Oh, it's a good thing I am. I thought you were welding me in. Oh, what? He just went around it. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> the lag with the heavy attack on the battle axe is hilarious because I swing and then they explode. When you're done, I can reach the Oh, okay, oh, bud. Yeah, I wonder where she is. What the fuck? What was that? Yo, Monster Ball! It's almost Halloween, kind of. 420 Ganja Farm. No! No! <laughs> no 420 Ganja Farm. Mario 64 Remastered. I don't... <gasps> yeah, I agree. Want... Mario 64 Remastered. No! No! <laughs> Stop! That is a LMG, which stands for Little... Last chance. That's the end of the joke. 
I know you're tight, tall, dark, and dead. No! Nope. Eat all the pills off of my head. And then eat the brains of the one who planted me here. No! I love the power glove. It's so bad. <laughs> I really hope the I really hope the boss is King Bowser. I will lose my shit. I will throw my headset. You better fucking be. Who would be Bowser? Who would they reskin to be Bowser? Hans. Hans, welcome to the Mushroom Kingdom, Swine. Oh, it's, it's Bowser. Not, no. There it's... he is. Guys, I have to say, I think I found my new favorite map. <laughs> Yo, can we do this again? No, we're leaving. Goodbye.